Hi, and thanks for watching the video. I'm Todd Baginski. I'm a Microsoft MVP and the partner and CTO at Canvas. In this video, I'm going to show you an end-to-end -end demonstration of the HR onboarding Power App sample template. Let's get started. There are several different components that make up the solution for the HR onboarding Power App sample template. I'm going to show them to you here before I walk through showing you how they work together. The first one is this SharePoint list. This SharePoint list keeps track of the different people we're onboarding into an organization, as well as their manager, their start date, and the status of many different things associated with bringing them up on board into the company. The next piece of the puzzle is the Power App. The Power App allows us to submit new HR onboarding requests, view the status of those requests, and also see reports to show us the data about how long onboarding is taking. Those reports come from here, inside of Power BI. We have a data source connected to the SharePoint list and a dashboard built on the reports. These reports are then able to be pinned and reused and displayed inside of the Power App. We also have a Microsoft Flow. The HR onboarding flow handles all of the interactions to update the SharePoint list with various statuses and send email to people throughout the company to help onboard the person. Finally, we'll have the inbox of the employee as well as different groups. You can see this is the corporate training department group. We also have the IT department and the IT equipment department. All three of these groups will get tasks assigned to them to help onboard the new employee. Now let's go through and walk it end to end and show you what it looks like to onboard a new employee inside of this solution. The process starts when a new employee needs to be onboarded. Someone from the HR department in charge of onboarding new people will come into the app and click the onboard button in the top right corner. Then they'll fill out the form with the details you see here and click the onboard button to start the process. I'm going to fill out that form now. Once I've filled the form out, it looks like this. You can see I'm onboarding someone named Chris Johnson. I'm going to mark myself as the manager so I get the emails about them and it's easy to show to you. Their start date is the 7th. I've also put in my email address here for this test account so we can simulate easily that we're getting the emails here. Makes it easier to do the demo. But in real life, this would be the personal email address for Chris Johnson so he could have materials emailed to him before he even has a personal uh, email address at the company that he's being onboarded to. Once the form is clicked out, we click the onboard button. This starts the onboarding process. The flow is now kicking up and sending emails to various people. We can also now see that Chris is inside of our list here and none of the different things like issuing an AAD account, assigning equipment, an email, video training, or the onboarding all up completed have been done. Let's go take a look at what's happening now behind the scenes to onboard Chris Johnson. Returning to the SharePoint list, we can now see the entry for Chris inside of the list here, and the status are in progress for several different items. Going over to the flow, we can see that this flow is now running as well. We can also start looking at the Office 365 groups. This one is for the video training we can see that we have a task here to prepare the video tr training for new employee Chris Johnson and email the link to them. It then has Chris's personal email address here. That's the one I put in the form. This is why we collected it, so that the training department can email him uh, the link. When Chris uh, takes uh, the training, uh, we're going to click on the button to then confirm that. So let's pretend we sent him the link, Chris got back to us, and we said, okay, you've watched the training video, great. We're now going to confirm that that's been done. Now we've registered to confirmation, and if we come back here inside of the Power App and we refresh it, we will see that the training video completed is now checked off for Chris here, 
on the right side of the page here. So now that we've got that checked off, we can go look at the other departments that have been notified to do things. This is the IT department. They have two emails. The first one says, issued a corporate standard account. When it's ready, click the button to confirm. Okay, let's click it and pretend it's now ready. Their other task was to create a new email address for Chris. When it's done, click on the button to confirm. So after that's been created, they click on confirm. And now that's registered. Returning to the Power App, you can guess how this is going to update, I'm pretty sure. And you'll see those two items have now been checked off. We can follow suit with the final group here. And this one is to the IT Equipment Department. This one says, please issue a corporate standard computer to our new employee, Chris. Here is his start date. That's the one we put in the form. And here's when we told him to show up to pick up the computer. When he's received the computer, click on the button to, pre to um, indicate he's got it. So let's pretend he has now received the computer and the IT department can now confirm it. Coming back to the SharePoint list, we can see completed across the board. An onboarding status is now complete. This column is updated and complete as completed only after all the other steps have been complete. Returning to the Power App, we can then refresh the page here. And now we can see that across the board, Chris's onboarding has been completed. Finally, we can take a look at the reporting data that we're using Power BI to create us our dashboard for. We click on the Reports tab here in the Power App, and you can see the Power BI reports are now loading. The only employees in progress is still Margaret O, but if you saw the data before, you'll see the average days to onboard has been reduced slightly because we onboarded Chris in just a single few minutes here during our demo. If you have more than one employee in progress, depending how far they have progressed, you will see the bars appear here, and you will have one line for each employee currently in progress. This concludes our demo of the HR Onboarding Power App Sample Template. I hope this solution comes in handy for you as you replace similar solutions you may have built on previous technologies such as on-premises Microsoft SharePoint, SharePoint Workflows, and InfoPath Forms. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.